This is VTES Transport, a one-stop shop for all transportation needs. With over 120 trucks and our 300 trailers, we always make sure to deliver on time. That's our office, where we get things done. Albert, is it true you work out now every morning? Yeah. Before work? Yeah. No, he's sleeping on the bench. That's crazy. These guys, Robert Blair almost fell off his chair when he <laughs> seen me at 6.30 in the morning. I was never able really to train. I, I like training in the morning because I find I'm full of energy, but with, with the kids and I can't, I have to drop them off at school, so. I'm, gonna, I'm coming in at 6.30 tomorrow, I want to see you train. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah. You, can, you, you can't show up, up at 6.30. Try, you can't even show up on time for our work at 8.30. Yeah. You want to show up at 6.30. No, I've been here for four years. Never, ever heard about Albert working out. And apparently this week he started. He's here at 6.30 training. So still find it hard to believe, but he says he's doing it. So for his sake, I hope he is. <laughs> My wife starts early in the morning. So I have to bring the kids to school. So I can't. And by the time I get home at night, I'm exhausted. My wife is a teacher and she just finished work now for six weeks. So now I have the luxury of coming into work early. We have a gym on site. I train in the gym for an hour every morning. I'm starting to eat healthy. I gotta get back into the swing of things. I got six weeks to get in shape. My wife starts work back in six weeks. <laughs> She's off now, so she can bring the kids to work back into school. I offered him fries before he said no, I was shocked. <laughs> if, if you get to day five, I'll be impressed. Okay, talk to me. Let me see. The the listen, the only, the only problem, sometimes receivers, depending where they are on their run, they're only open from, we're open from 5 to 8 in the morning. This guy, he's probably not going to take you at 4, 5 to 10 a.m. We're open, there's a three hour window and that's it. If you can make it in, you make it in. If you don't, receiving hours until fucking nine in the morning, that's normal. I go back to the client, I tell them the situation and I try to, and I get, and I get reimbursed or compensated for, for those costs. And life goes on. So make it at 5 a.m. Capisces? Capisciste? Eh, capisciste? She doesn't understand, she's a Robinson. Oh, Mrs. Robinson. Today it started off a little bit quiet. Guys, we have to we have to uh, call and make appointments, guys. Just to advise the we just have to advise the receiver that we're coming in tomorrow. A little quieter than usual, but it kind of ramped up as the day progressed. Max, what's your what's your phone number? Coming off a bad phone call. Pick up when? What's your number? I don't have the thing. Jay had an order that was going out to California that he was talking about this morning and it was a verbal, but he there seems to think he's, he had a sheet on his desk now. I don't know, but he only gave a verbal to his carrier, which is not the end of the world, and Marco had already booked it. You sent him nothing? Did you pick it up off my desk just now today? No, I... Okay. No, someone's yes. coming to my desk taking load sheets off my desk. It was verbal, it was verbal. To his carrier, he told him, pick it up here, it's going here, and this is what I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you a load sheet shortly. So he actually never got the load sheet because it had already been taken care of. So verbally telling him what's happening versus sending him something over physically that he has in his hands? No, no, no. I was given a load sheet. Habibi, I got you, bro, please. Careful. You remember so, what the number was? He's not blaming you. I'm, I'm just saying, three someone three gave me a load sheet this morning. Well, I don't know. I had, I had this feeling. But you're saying you didn't hear me? Did didn't. you hear me or not? I just finished telling you. I didn't hear no, what you said. Yeah. Okay, whatever. Two steps inside the door, and there's problems, and it's chaos from the start. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. What's going on? I don't know. I don't know who gave it to me. Listen, the when the... Was there to broker up. I don't, I don't give him the guys to broker up. It's, it's a Walmart, they open to like, you can deliver and then he gave it to JP. Maybe two, two. no, I didn't, give, I didn't give anything to JP. That's why I went out to the system to find the last three uh, Sacramentos and reprint the one that is you just not here. three Sacramentos, you got two out of them? I took two, they sold one. Okay, so then it's sold. It's sold. It's sold. You never had that. At the end of the day, man, we're all on the same side. We all care about each other. We all get it done. So. I give you a copy. Oh, the packing is good. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's not a one-man operation, it's, it's a teamwork and we're all on the same team. The goal is, at the end of the day, is we're all on the same side. It has to be done. For more reality shows, visit yamediatv.com. Yeah